I can't visualize opening up emotionally. I know it would be a problem. May I ask why now? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions first? Of course not. I love that you've written so much on social exclusion. Since that's why I'm here, I was wondering... Are you Freddie Lance? That is a little, bit of a, a little bit of a brand new show that will debut tonight here at City on 9 o'clock. It's a thrilling drama about how Hannibal Lecter became the most famous literary killer of our time. And joining us with a look at the new show Hannibal is Laura Jean Korostecki. You saw her there talking with the man who will become Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Uh, Laura Jean, let's talk about your character. How does Freddie tie in with the, the backstory of Lecter? Uh, Freddie Lowndes is a character that's in the Tom Harris novels, but was a man in those novels and was portrayed in Red Dragon and Manhunter by Philip Seymour Hoffman and Stephen Lang respectively. And Brian Fuller, has our creator, has now taken the show and turned Freddy into a female. And she is a tabloid crime blogger and she follows along with all the characters and all the crimes that are happening and gets under everyone's skin and causes a lot of trouble. Now, do you take any way, anything away from how the other actors have portrayed this character, uh, especially considering it's male to female? Uh, it's really hard to. I mean, Hoffman did such a brilliant job at it, too. He's so wonderfully schlubby and sleazy and perfect in the role. Uh, but as soon as you flip it female and with the costume designer that we have, Freddie automatically becomes a little more sophisticated, though I'd still say just as sleazy and just as lacking in morals. Yeah, speaking of great actors, uh, you're working with uh, several, including Lawrence Fishburne. What's it like being in a scene with Morpheus? <laughs> it's amazing to be in a scene with Morpheus. Uh, Lawrence is incredible. He's a really generous, really kind uh, heart and really, really down to earth. And he, he's very generous as an actor and as a scene partner and takes away all that kind of nerves that you could have uh, <laughs> acting opposite someone like him. I mean, he was essentially trained in some ways by Marlon Brando and started off in Apocalypse Now, which I kind of geeked out a bit about a little more than The Matrix. Uh, so it's, it was incredible to work with him. That's cool. Both films absolutely spectacular. Let's talk yes. about the intensity of being in scenes. It seems as far as the audience, every scene is more intense than the last when you're watching an episode of Hannibal. What's it like on the set? Is it still fun? It is, actually. It's a really kind set full of lots of people who really just love to laugh. Um, everyone is extremely down to earth. Hugh and Mass and Lawrence are really, really down to earth guys. Brian Fuller is probably one of the nicest and most inspiring showrunners that you could work for. Um, so in general, yeah, we like to laugh. I think you have to when it comes to such intense material. You have to be able to have a lot of fun on set. Otherwise, it can, it can get really, really intense for you as an actor. Can you give us any hints about Freddie and what's going to happen in the upcoming season? Because very early on, she crosses paths with Dr. Lecter, and that's rarely a good thing for someone. It is rarely a good thing, isn't it? Well, you'll have to wait and see what happens. She gets to cross paths with quite a few of them. Um, so Will Graham and Jack Crawford and Hannibal himself. Uh, I can't reveal too much, but I will say that there's a lot of excellent twists and turns and it's quite a psychological thriller. So I think just stay along for the ride. You're going to have a great time. It is going to be a great ride. The only question is, is Freddie going to be along for the entire ride? Good luck. Whoa, <laughs> you'll have to see. Thank you. We will watch. Thank you very much, uh, Laura Jean. We'll watch tonight. It's episode one of Hannibal. It happens at nine o'clock right here on City. Now let's check weather conditions. Let's say good morning to Jenna Khan.